five seconds. Mr. Chairman, sir, I am very thankful to my honorable colleague for having made a very enlightened speech on the bill and the various issues involved. There was a considerable discussion on the merits and demerits of the legislature. I must thank various honorable members for the very learned and profound discussion which they have had here in this house today. While thanking them for that, I must say, since that question was not an issue before the house, I will not waste the valuable time of the Honorable House by replying to that in the statement of objects and reasons of the bill it has been stated that equal representation is the main object of federalism or something to that effect while agreeing that is one of the purposes or one of the objectives. I cannot agree that is the sole objective or the purpose. Considerable discussion has taken place amongst the constitutional pundits. Essays have been written. Books have been written about this question. While conceding to what my honorable friend has said that it is one of the purposes the modern trained seems to be as one of the constitutional writers has said that it is not the equality of the states that is the main purpose but what it calls it is the essence of statehood that is the main purpose what is meant by that statement is that in view of the diversity in a state the various interests in a state the various sections of the people which constitute a state it is the representation of some total of the essence of statehood that is represented in the upper house. I think there is much to be said on that. Sir, I was going through the discussion that took place in the constituent assembly. Nobody referred to this aspect of the matter because it seems there was a consensus that the second aspect of the problem as discussed by constitutional writers it is the essence of statehood namely representation of the various interests diverse people diverse cultural and other aspects which is the purpose of the representation in the upper house. As a result, except one honorable member, nobody mentioned even the question of equal representation of states. The main emphasis was on whether there was necessity for a legislature and on these lines, we have had an excellent treatment of the subject in the House. Mr. Chairman, sir, at the outset, I wish to express my sincerest thanks to all the members and 
द मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ स्टेट फॉर लॉ फॉर देयर पार्टिसिपेशन इन दिस डिबेट एंड आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग द ऑनरेबल मेम्बर फॉर वाट आई कंसिडर हिज मेड एन एपियरेंस इन अ डिबेट इन दिस हाउस after taking over the charge of the ministry when i started this debate you must have noticed that i spoke in a very low key i spoke in a low key because i was apprehensive that as my amendments are to curtail the number of members of some states passions may be roused and if passion is roused the purpose of the discussion would be lost i am happy that members approached the debate disappointedly and calmly and in fact we had a very good discussion as i see it on all points my honorable friend criticized the whip system and i understand why he has criticized because it appears that the whip of his party did not permit him to speak in the presidential address debate therefore what he could not speak in the presidential address debate he tried to speak here and though most of what he said had no relevance to the subject matter except referring to my bill once his whole speech was on other subjects therefore i think i need not reply to them as this morning the prime minister has replied to all the points and during the debate on the presidential address there was enough discussion on these points my honorable friend has supported me but as an extremely intelligent member of the house he has tried to given in a clever way very different political overtone to it he said that the bill should be the first step for increasing the power of the states i beg to different from him so far as this is concerned because i feel that in a country like ours with so many diversities and separatist forces there must be a a strong center and one of the essence or basic features of the reason for which two chambers theory is encouraged as to keep a check on the separatist forces my own view was on which the honorable member differed that if only some of the states are given too much representation they may upset the balance at some time the bill to give more representation and powers to the states is not welcome as this shall lead to rise of the separatist forces therefore 
our constitution has led the basis of strong center in the interest of unity as such stop